One time he told Sugar, they told Lula the previews before he came on his first world tour that I heard souls crying in bed. He probably didn't even know the, the word bad, but he could hear the crying of these personalities wanting to have a sadhu again in their lives. Our Badger community was found in rejection of Ishtar. Rejection in that all of our feet of gurus, 96 gurus on the wall, 95 gurus on the wall, 94. It was formed in rejection of this mood. And to the good name of Peter, just by causeless mercy, to the Bhaktivedanta Shastri God says, don't try to see God, try to feel God. So when Sri Lakurde came to Badger, immediately he felt that here Sri Prabhupada was coming in. That same feeling that we had when we entered into Ishkan, why we joined? Because we felt in our hearts that this love, this affection is actually possible. This love and affection which every living entity is hankering for every minute was felt deeply by all, most all the residents of our Gura community. And we immediately wanted to become his. So much so that even though for myself I was never going to come back to India, but I just had to come back. And in that 1996 curriculum was such an ecstatic experience. <laughs> it was one bus. Shri Gurudev traveled on the bus with us. He spoke Hani Kata and just English. He sat at different places of pilgrimage and had puffed rice. And we would sit next to him, just like bosom friends. This mood was so attractive, it was so wonderful. Shri came to our new bride community 14 times, and each time he sprinkled so much mercy on us. He was very fond of the drama plays. And the second year, we would actually do a play every other day. So many drama plays. We would do a drama, and then the very next time we would do another. One time the ladies produced a drama, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to accept his yas. And this drama was so heart drawn, heart wrenching, that everybody in the audience was crying. And then I was thinking, why am I crying? I looked over at the day and he was crying. So much crying. And at the end of the drama, he said, oh, and in order to bring his mood of ground again, he found a few little defects in the play and he withdrew his separation mood and brought it back. It says that the pure devotee, like Shukadeva Goswami and many others, that when they start speaking Hari Kata, immediately these moods would manifest so strongly that they would be able to continue. So that there is a special shakti that allows the spiritual master to speak Hari Kata without completely falling apart. So our Shri days has come to spread this unique new idea that even though our Sri Prabhupada gave us that idea, even though the first song I learned was Kosi Kirtan, Seva Adi Kada Diye Kada Diye I didn't have a clue on what that meant. 
but we would chant it twice a day, every day. <laughs> but Sri Gurudev has actually made it clear on what is that aspiration. Sri Gurudev has explained and clarified so many things. And these things have made our appreciation and our drive to obtain that wonderful thing that we have entered into the Leela of Sri Krishna. Still, it appears that that is impossible. But the clarity of what we want is now so clear. And I'm always uh, remembering Gurudev saying about the poor monk who sees the parade of princes die go by. And he thinks, oh, I want to marry the princess. I mean, you know, there's a snowball's chance of him marrying her. But still, no one can stop him from wanting it. So Shri Gurudev has made it so clear in our hearts what we want. This thing, even though it still seems unlimited distance away, has now become so clear. So in this Mahotsava, that we remember all the unlimited sweet Harikata, the clarity, the depth. One time in the white he said, I will tell you the easiest way by which you can obtain Krishna Pray. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just started telling the story of Buddha going to Vrindavan. And then he got into a wonderful Barmari where Srimati Radharani met the bumblebee and started talking to the bumblebee and but all of a sudden in his Hanikata, the bumblebee started talking back. <laughs> and after the whole class ended, I was thinking, he never gave any instruction on how to pay Krishna friends. <laughs> that hearing this kind of Hanikata is how Krishna brain is obtained. So Srila Gurudev has constantly sprinkled that kind of Hanikata on us. Not all of you, not your body, which is so important. Srila Prabhupada gave that kind of Hanikata over and over and made us realize or understand this <laughs> But Sri Gurudev kept giving Ras Panjim God and Gopi Ghi and this Brahma <coughs> trying to make us realize that that is actually our identity. O oh, Tulsi, beloved of Krishna, I bow before you again and again. My desire is to obtain, to obtain the service of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna, and whoever takes shelter of you has his wishes fulfilled. Bestow your mercy upon them, you make them a resident of Vrindavan. My desire is that you also grant me, me the residence of the pleasure girls of Sri Vrindavan Dham. Thus, within my vision, I will always behold the pastime of Radha and Krishna. Please grant me entrance into these pastimes and make me your own maid servant. This very fond and lonely servant of Krishna prays, may I always swim in the love of God. So, this is one of the innumerable gifts that he has offered us. That we have now this clarity on what is Manjari God. And what is the root of the maid servants? Shimadhi Shamirana was speaking on the topic of Vilapa Kusmanjali. And this book is inconceivably unobtainably 
what cannot obtain any interest, any idea of what that is like, but should her day be her voice. And these purports are so wonderfully clear that even from this million miles away, there was real clarity on what Sri Raghunath Das was doing. In his Antir Bab, he was actually there doing Seva, preparing the water, and he was going to bathe Sri Makiradika, but all of a sudden everything disappeared. Oh my God! And crying. He came back to this realm. So, there are so many wonderful books that he has given us. These books are so clear. These books are so accessible. Sri Bhakti Osayana, Sri Bhakti Anotakur is giving us entrance. And in the first four chapters are four Ajahnaratisavas, those who have the taste. But in the fifth chapter, just like 747, that you can see all the way down the runway, it just takes off and immediately leaves your vision. So in the fifth chapter, the mood of Manjari Bob is now entering in the heart of Bhaktivinoda and he's explaining it. But unfortunately, our style is not developed, and we just lose the ability to follow it. So, so many books he's given us, so many lectures that we can listen to over and over and over again, trying to enter deeply into this mood, trying to hear over and over what he has given us. And he's also given all of us, even myself, the instruction to practice and preach. He not just gave me that instruction once, but a number of times, practice and preach. So this is the challenge. This is the thing that we will cry and pray. That is the service that you want us to perform. Is it something that you'll give to me? Or is it something that I'll have to take? I'll have to endeavor way past my comfort zone to obtain that thing, that activity that will actually bring you pleasure. There are four states, there are four aspects of sadha, aroma siddha, sadha siddha, sadha siddha, and sarup siddha bhakti. So in aroma siddha, the devotee does things just for himself, but he puts Krishna on the end and he tries to enjoy Krishna. Oh, you know, Krishna likes pizza, double trust, <laughs> And in this way, he tries to take his enjoying root and bring it to Krishna. In Sada, in Sada Siddha Bhakta, he starts to think that the qualities of truthfulness, or cleanliness, the secondary qualities of the bhakti, their primary. In Sadhana Siddha, he is performing the elements of bhakti, but he is performing it for his own purification. But in Sarupa Siddha Bhakti, he is performing it to please Hari Guru and So, on this day, I pray that I can perform some activity in the future that will actually give him pleasure. I was fortunate to actually give him some pleasure by doing 30 plus dramas in his presence. And so many times 
gives heat, all kinds of blessings and praise. But these things were secondary. They were not actually how to please Him. He will be pleased if we practice and preach. So on this day, I pray to all of my clubs that they'll give me their mercy to offer me some kind of opportunity in the future that I can come to their place and practice and preach. Thank you. 
pressure by having fracture in my hip bone. So somebody took her out, two people, and somebody helped me to come out. I was not able to walk. But I saw that she had a bleeding on her head. So I was so much concerned for her, her safety. I got out, I had a phone, so I called out for help. But there was uh, no police and no ambulance available. Then I called my husband. He was in Faridabad, that was around 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers from that place. So he said, I'm coming, but it will take some time to reach to that spot. And I was so much worried that she should have immediately first aid, otherwise something will happen to her. One car came, two boys came with a heated car. And I didn't know what to do because there was no ambulance, no hospital, nothing. Nobody was there, no transport. And people said you could go by tempo. It was cold, January morning. I could take her by the tempo. So one car came with two boys, they were Muslim boys. And they said, oh, you want some help? You can take it to the hospital. So, while I was unclear and me and Savita Dizzi on our laps, we took her to the where they drove us off. And there was no hospital available on the way, on the highway. So then um, we reached Paritabar and there was a uh, hospital one very big hospital, but they said we had, uh, we entered casualty and they said we are closed for 26 January. Even the casualty is closed, all the doctors are on the So they told us there is one more hospital, go to that hospital. So we went there and they immediately took her to the operation theater and they gave her first day, they did her stitching and everything. She had a skull fracture. And they took me and they, they gave me one painkiller and they suspected some fracture. So they uh, took me for x ray. But because there was no senior doctor available, so they said. Uh, the junior doctor said there is no fracture and they released me to go home. So the next day, uh, still I had so much pain that uh, I couldn't move my leg at all. So the next day, the senior doctor came and he said, you have a hip, hip bone fracture. Uh, the socket uh, bone, there was a hairline fracture. So next day, I was admitted again to the hospital and doctor did her operation and they put a steel rod on my knee joint and they put me on rest for, bed and rest for 21 days. That was, hearing that I was told, they, they put me for 4-5 days in the hospital and after that they released me. And I was so anxious passing through and during on the bed, bed pan, and no bath. That was too much for me. So I was so anxious. I got the email sent to Rude. And I said that uh, I don't know how I can pass these 21 days too much to think. And why this accident happened? Did I lose some opera? Or what happened exactly? So 
they did not talk to anyone who called me with this finger like this. I went for the wheelchair. I went near him. And he was with a voice show. He said, how are you? And it seemed he was almost about to cry. So I, and he wanted to know what happened. So I showed him that I had a uh, rod in my knee joint and everything in a short way. So Gurudev said, Tarte Anakam Pasasuni Shumana, this Krishna's desire. That you were saved from death. I was just thinking, those two boys, who were they? And how would they stand at the 12th hour immediately to help us? And then by the way, first I had a very, very rapid recovery because I was staying for 40 days there in Paldaba. So I wanted to go to Vrindavan. So after a few days, uh, I asked Ude that day, Ude, can I go to Vrindavan? He said, who will cook for you? I said, I will manage some, there is a fashionable lady and she will help me. He said, okay, if she will help you, then you can go. I said then, he said tomorrow, so I said tomorrow is, I was just calculating the day whether right or wrong. He said we're no, going to the town, there is no right or wrong day, you can go tomorrow. And Gurudev was also going the next day to the town. So, so much care, so much affection. Little, little deeper thoughts he had for I think he must have shown to all of us. So then the next time when we went to Mogovana, I went to meet, meet him with, with one stick. So Gurudev was sitting in the balcony outside as much as Kuti, just about the cow shed. And Gurudev was sitting and he was with his legs spread on another chair. He was uh, just taking the sun. When I went there, Gurudev lifted his feet and he said, you want this chair? I was so embarrassed and someone else, they gave me another chair to sit because I could stand for a long time. That was my first time when I was walking on a stick. I sat next to Gurudev and I kept the stick on the side and Gurudev said, where is the other stick? I said, I have only one stick. He said, one stick is enough? I said, yes. So then he talked to me and by his mercy, by his glance, the speech, the recovery was so far, so far. First time I met with a walker, next time with a stick, and third time I met without a stick. So Buddha said, I will be going to Matra on Ramanami. I said, I will come and meet you. So on Ramanami day, on the terrace of Matraman, Gurudev said, oh, you must get all right very, very quickly, very, very quickly. So, quickly I recovered and then Savita Devi immediately when Gurudev wanted to see her also, whole of the town was dug out, roads were all dug out. This uh, the Rajasi side road at the Parikmama and Gurudev at 5.30 in the morning. How many men? Nobody. 
similarity between Krishna and Guru is over time. So same thing that the Prabhu is saying that when we saw him all Rashila same way. There was no mistake this time before we were some in some kind of uh, more some illusion before. You know what it that means. But this time all so he was speaking very simply, also in a very, was in a small house in my home. But the, his speech was so attractive, so sweet, so nice. So immediately he catch. Aha. And he was, what the Prabhu said, he was also here in my home because he knew about what came in this place. Two times. And he had his own quarter, his own room, and many places he went. So, who they wanted to visit all these places? He was sitting in the same place that Baba was sitting in the ground, you know, under the trees, and also he visited his room. And he was sitting here and speaking, preaching, and he was You love so much about this relationship with Shila Prabhupada to be in the place where Shila Prabhupada And so he attracted us so much. And uh, at the end of some time, the son of the for him. Each time we came in Europe, so many times actually, because before he used to come first in England, then in Holland, then in France. So it was three, three parties that you managed. Each time in one week. So it was glad at that time. But then after the years, you know, that the, they reduced the traveling of the world, it was decided only one time in America, only one time in Europe. But still it was so, so, it was expecting him so much, and making plans long months before, how to go there, how to get there, how to get money or something, you know, it was a very joyful festival, just like when Prabhupada used to come before. <clears throat> so it was the same mood. Prabhupada would the same mood, same spirit of Krishna consciousness. No difference. I don't understand how they can see difference. It is no. Exactly the same mood. And Guru Dev does give us this very fine, subtle preaching of Krishna Prima, Koki Gita, Ramana Gita, Venu Gita, and all this wonderful, very, very, very deep preaching. Spirit of Guru is in the book. So 
Yeah. 